Hi, it's Mr Townsend here. Have you ever wondered how the lens works in an eye? What is its purpose? What does it do in the eye? In this video, we're going to go over what is the lens's purpose in the eye and what it does. Right, let's quickly recap what the parts of the eye are called. So we have the iris, which is, remember is the membrane that controls how much light enters the eyeball. Um, if you haven't seen the video explaining how the iris is, then have a look at the end of this video for a link to that video. We have the cornea, which is a transparent layer of skin cells of, that um, let light travel through but protect the inside of the eye. We have the lens, which is a, a body of cells that are also transparent that let light through, but this lens can change shape in order to bend the light so we can focus the light on the back of the eye onto the retina. The retina on the back of the eye contains a whole lot of different cells that can detect when light hits them. And if light does hit them, it sends a message to our brain through the optic nerve. The optic nerve sends message to our brain and then our brain can determine what the image is that we see. The white part of the eye that we see around the iris is called the sclera. Right. So what does, what's important? So how does the lens work? Well, the lens has to deal with a couple of different situations. It has to deal with us looking at far away objects. So human beings evolved on the plains of Africa. They had to look long distances to look out for predators and food. So our eyes need to be able to look at long distances. When we look at long distances, we use ciliary muscles to control the shape of our lens. If our lens, sorry, if the light coming into our lens comes from a long distance, then what happens is the light approaches the lens almost in lines that are parallel to each other. See here, they're almost parallel. And in order to focus on the back of the retina, they only need to bend a little bit. So our lens has to be quite flat. And quite flat is naturally how it sits. A lens usually just naturally sits quite flat. Now we have something called the ciliary muscles and what they do is they control the shape of the lens. If these ciliary muscles that connect to the outside of the lens are relaxed, then the lens becomes less curved. It becomes flatter. Now the curve on the lens is called convex. It's an outwards curve, but it's less flat when we're looking far away. See this shape here? It's less of a circle. If we look at something that is close, then our lens has to be more of a circle. It has to be more curved or more concave. In order to do that, the ciliary muscles that are connected to it need to contract or they need to pull. So when you look at something close to you, your muscles in your eye have to work. So that what they're doing is they're pulling the lens to change its shape to make it fatter. And the reason they do that is when the light rays come in, they are moving away from each other. They're converging and it ha they have to be bent back again to focus on the back of the retina. They have to be bent more. So the lens has to be more curved. So that's what we have to do when we look at a close object. Interestingly, when you get older, your lens becomes harder to, to change the shape. It isn't so plastic anymore. It isn't so easy to move. So people, once they uh, get to the age of about 45, they no longer can change the shape of their lens from flat to curved. So they find it hard to see close up objects. In order to correct that shape of that lens that can no longer become that fatter shape, we have to put glasses in front. So you see a lot of older people might wear um, some reading glasses to help them see things that are close up. Well, that's how a lens works in the eye. Uh, if you found that interesting, uh, come and look at the next video. That's all about how the uh, retina works or the previous video that talks about how the iris works in the front of our eye.